<laughs> I hear the mess, but um, okay. All right, so let's start with the closing disclaimer. Yeah. So again, it's not final, but you do know you are getting money back. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see how I can make this work. Here we go. I think this is. So, but just make, there's your interest rate, okay. loan amount, um, monthly payment, all that should still be the same. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So I just need you to sign and date down there. You're going to date with the four digit year 2021. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Addendum. Okay, so yeah, she said she added this. And this, this is a, an addendum to the closing disclosure. I just need to sign and date this and then I'll, I'll notarize the county that we're sorry about all the noise. I <laughs> know, oh, it's, it's okay. It was um, supposed to be in the conference room, but um, something had happened. Then the school board came in and took over for me. Uh, okay, and I'll notarize this. We're in um, city Suff of Suffolk. Suffolk City. Mm -hmm. Okay. September 1, first payments due. Okay. Okay. And monthly PNI is listed on the note. And here's your monthly PNI. There is your loan amount, okay. interest rate. And like I said, September 1. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you'll sign and no date, just need a signature. Okay. Next is your deed. Um, so by law, I cannot go over the deed with you. Right. So I understand. okay. I, but feel free to go through it however you, you wish. I just put the signature page up, up top. You'll sign right. the date. Okay. Okay. And what's in this stack here is a copy of all the documents that were signed. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Change the city. Thank you. <laughs> That's the only thing about notarizing <laughs> switching. It's like, oh, I got to change the city where I'm at now. Home rider to mortgage. I'm not sure what this document is. It's a definite question for Miss um, Mirror. We have any questions about this one. Legal description of your home should be attached in the stack. What you're going to do here is sign and date. Okay. Mm -hmm. Manufactured home affidavit. Again, this is a married question. Right. I got you. <laughs> Actually, I kind of know what it is because I had done that for my first mortgage. So. <laughs> oh, okay. This, yeah, it may have something to do with, mm -hmm. with the payoff. So, yeah. So, you're going to sign right here, sign and date, and then I'll move around. Okay. That's for the 
vendor tomatoes. Thank you. Man, I feel like I'm fast signing my life away again. It feels like <laughs> it, right? It, it does when you're doing these. It's just because there's so many documents in mm -hmm. it. This is, like I said, it's for the lender. Looks like for them to sign in or not. Notice it's right to cancel. So, as you know, you have a three day recession period. Trust me, I ain't canceling that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, you did decide to cancel, you have until right. the 31st, okay? Right. <laughs> um, you're signing these saying that you received the copies mm -hmm. of those right to um, cancel. You're not signing saying that you're right. going to cancel today. Right. So, you're going to sign. Inside the box. Yes. Okay. And not inside the box. Three copies of those. Um. All I'm on the bottom. Yes, please. Hopefully by the time I leave here the rain is stop. <laughs> Well, it ain't it was, raining as hard, so it's a slow yeah, down. It was off and on coming here. I go from Williamsburg, so oh, dear. I, I live in Hampton, but oh, okay. Yeah, I was coming from the office because I did another one for Mary this morning. Uh, high price mortgage loan disclosure. So it looks like it's a, just take a look at it and sign right it. here, right? Yes, please. State international state. Thank you. This is your um, escrow account disclosure statement. So you're going to sign and date on this on the last page, but this just kind of breaks down your escrow account. This is your starting balance, initial deposit, and it kind of breaks down throughout the year. Okay. Um, just sign, uh, sign and update on the last page. Right here? Yes, please. Real estate loan tax and insurance reserve agreement. It says the reserve account is required. Straight up stuff you already know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sign and date, please. <laughs> All right. Compliance agreement. It just says that. Um, I'll just read it out to you here that you'll fully cooperate in adjusting for clerical errors on any and all the loan closing dots. So if they ask you to correct something, you can say that you'll comply with them. That's all that says. Thank you. Signature name affidavit. So that's saying you're one and the same person as the names listed. If you could check and be sure that those names. Sure. Uh huh. I don't know where the K came from, but <laughs> yeah, if you um, if you see something that's like completely not you, you can just cross it out. Okay. Yeah. I don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is your W9 right here. Um, okay, box sorry checks because you're an individual, you're just signing things. Wow. Mm -hmm. Notarize this really quick. So next we have 
45 or 60, which is so that they can um, get a transcript of your tax return. Down here is the years that they pulled, 2017 through 2020. I just need you to check this box right here and then sign and date. And then they can see in here, which is pretty much the same. It's for them to get a transcript of your tax return. Okay. But it's, I think it's like different, um, different forms though. Check that box. Yep. And then sign and date. I had a, somebody that worked with the IRS or was familiar with the tax forms. I said, what's the difference? She was like, it's not really a difference. One just has more information. Oh, That's what she okay. said. I said, oh, okay. I was like, why is there two separate forms for the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't making sense to me. Occupancy and financial status affidavit just says that, you know, this, that the property that you're refinancing is a principal residence and that mm -hmm. As far as your financial status, nothing has, has changed. Nope. Yeah. Yep, you'll sign a date there and then I'll notarize. Okay. Uh, the, um, mortgage fraud is investigated by the F FBI. Mm -hmm. So it's a notice, um, million dollar fine, 30 years in prison for both. Just need you to sign a date that, that you receive that. Nothing illegal at that house. Right. <laughs> okay, we're moving right along. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take too long. Once you do the groove on it, it flows. Mailing address certification, so you'll check, um, if you want your mail to go to the property address, you'll check the first box and then just sign and date. I have a post office box too. Uh, I want to put the post office box in the house. I better go to the house. <laughs> <laughs> This is a notice to you regarding credit score. Noticing of negative information just says that if you're late with the payment, you'll report to the credit bureau. I'm not being late either. <laughs> Thank you. This one is quality control release. Take a look at that. This is your um, amortization schedule. Um, it does need to be signed and dated. Okay. Most people don't like to look at it, so I usually skip it. Unless you want to look at it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at, so. <laughs> I mean, I know what I'm looking at, but <laughs> all your payments, they're like, yeah. they'll be like, oh, it's fine. Blood hazard determination, sign and date that time. Hardship letter, it just says that by paying your mortgage by its due date, it's not going to put you in any hardship. This is a whole harness regarding a well and septic si well and septic systems. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, if you don't have a well or septic si system, I do. Okay. Yeah. So I do. you're just saying that it's in good con con ugh, I cannot talk. Oh, good condition. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Homeowners tax observations. Uh, this one got to be dated. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's why I'm here for them to double check. Oh. Thank you. This 
one too, I see. Like it's just a notice to get on to the end. <laughs> so, this is a notice to you from her, it looks like. Um, just conditional property, all okay. that stuff. Sign and date that for me. Okay. Another HUD document, it looks like it's just some sort of notice. They just want you to sign and date that. Notice to homeowner. Another notice from HUD. the application, the HUD addendum to the application. So you're going to sign it in two spots. The first spot, you're going to um, send your borrower a date. Your name is kind of hidden. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. <laughs> and then on the second page, sign right. date. Mm -hmm. application Property manufactured home, limited power of attorney. Uh, it's solely to execute or release title, mortgage, or deed of trust, uh, transfer of equity and insurance documents and proceeds. Okay. So that's what that's for. Okay. Uh -huh. You will sign a date on last page and I'll notarize. Okay. Yes, so that they can verify your social or they have verified your social for the purposes of a mortgage. Right. Yep. Sign and date for me. You agree to make timely payments. No, you haven't been laid off or anything. Sign and date that. This is my card to fill out. Thank you. I'll notarize this.
think this may be it. Maybe. I guess I'll see you down to the wire now. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not in special <laughs> for that hazard zone. So this one again, you'll just sign and date. Okay. The hazard insurance. Okay. Yeah, you'll just sign and date that one. That's for your hazard insurance. And that is it.